Hey, hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for uh, for tuning in. Um, I do a vlog every single day. This is a daily vlog and it's a daily vlog of 1000 days. And today I'm in the 50 something, you know, I'm gonna give up counting because there's just too many, but I will count obviously because it's important because we need to know where we're at, where we are at. Um, yeah, so today, I'm mostly going to be talking about the things that I've lost. So I've been meaning to make this video for um, for a little while. And like I say, this video is not about, you know, you guys feeling sorry for me or anything like that. It's just to show you that you can have an awful lot of loss in your life and that you can come back from it. So I'm going to flash up just here um, some of the things that, that I've lost over time. And you can see on that list, it's probably quite a bit. And you know, at times it's been devastating. Um, I've got to be open and say, I've cried a few times. I've had a few tears over an awful lot. You know, the loss of my dad, the loss of my brother, the loss of my dog, my car blew up. I had a tax demand for over a thousand pounds in the UK. And yeah, it was, uh, it was a combination of things. Um, I had rejection after rejection about things I was applying for and doing. Um, everything I seemed to touch had gone completely wrong. Um, but I realized that my mindset was completely wrong. I realized that, um, you know, sometimes God has something else in favor for you, which you're not supposed to know at the time. You're supposed to undergo this journey so that I think that you can evolve and turn into a better person and be that better person. And um, in, do in being that better person, you go down this, this better road. So, yeah, in terms of those things that I lost, you know, um, you know, a relationship, a house, a career, um, but the, the road ahead looks, looks more positive, looks more, more conducive to a life that, that I should have had right from the beginning. And because of my poor choices, it led me down this other road. And sometimes, taking that other road um you know when you know when god needs you to to change you know it's it's difficult isn't it and we all have loss in our lives it can be at varying degrees and at varying times the times that i've considered you know um or look back on my loss and thought crikey chris how did you even get through this you know um but you do you get through it and you realize that life and uh, everything in it is is a challenge and as i've said in previous videos you know life can be all about problem solving you know uh, you won't entirely have no problems in your life that's almost impossible but i think what you can have is your ability to solve those problems incrementally as you go along and it's important to know that um so loss is a part of life and on the flip side of that gain gain is a part of life too when you lose something sometimes you gain something you know um i lost uh, a career in the police for 24 years i felt that was a, um, a pernicious act uh, um, to happen to me um but um in my heart of hearts i knew it was the right thing because it was taking away from everything that i was that job took everything away from me in terms of me being the real Chris Woodman and the real person that I needed to be. Being you and truthful to you is probably the most important thing to do. And yeah, so sometimes when you lose stuff, you can gain it. And when you gain it, sometimes you can gain it back in bucket loads. And that's important to know that. Because when you accept that you have, you know, have lost something, uh, you can just draw a line in it and say, I'm moving on. Like, for example, you know, my car, um, it's, all right, it's something as trivial as a car, isn't it? But my car blew up when I was taking my son into Cornwall. Now, on this particular day, we were excited about having a great day out. I hadn't long serviced the car, and um, it did catch fire, or, or the, albeit a small fire, which I extinguished almost straight away. Um, I was part of recovery, so I got recovery there. And, um, and it took us back home. And from then on, yeah, I had to scrap the car. And, and then I had to, with the help of family, get, uh, get another vehicle. Uh, it was a massive downgrade, but having said that, 
you know what? I absolutely love it. You know, a year and a half on, I absolutely love that little car. It gets me around from A to B and it gives me what I need. Do I need anything else? No, absolutely not. Um, will I get anything else at some point? Yeah, probably, you know, but for now I'm happy and I'm happy where I am. So sometimes when you experience loss or you lose something, it can be that it happens for a reason. So, you know, and sometimes the things that you go chasing after that don't materialize, those things can, you know, make you feel that you've lost. Um, but don't worry, it's all part of the master plan. Things happen for a reason. You know, what you shouldn't do, you know, is keep on banging your head against a brick wall because in doing that, you're just really being silly to yourself. You know, you need to understand that your ability to, you know, um, recognize loss and just keep pressing forward really builds character. It really does. And, you know, for me, um, you know, I mean, loss can, can come in all sorts of forms and shapes and sizes, you know, you can lose friends and family and everything else. And I've touched on that in a previous video. Um, and, but it's how your, your ability is to manage that loss. And I think if you stay true to yourself, stay strong, try and get support of people that are closest to you, you'd be surprised what you can overcome. And sometimes you'll get a loss today. You might even get a couple of losses in a day and it'll feel like the most devastating thing that's happening in your life. But this is all part of the master plan. You will gain again, you'll pick back up and you'll get to that wonderful place, which, which is where you're heading. And you've got to believe that. Because like I say, life is full of ups and downs. But most of the time, if you look back on your life, most of your life has been an up. Most of your life has been okay. Anyway, um, I'm rambling. Um, I do a daily vlog every single day. I'd appreciate it if you're not subscribed already to give me a subscribe. And thank you so much if you already subscribed to me. And tomorrow is about something completely different. I talk about something uniquely, completely different every single day. So thank you in advance. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye now.